Help clear the whale's water spout. How many hours are there in 420 minutes? So for every hour we have 60 minutes and if we keep adding 60 minutes eventually we get 420 minutes with 7 hours. So the correct answer here is 7 hours is equal to 420 minutes. Great! Nice! We need to use place value to help us write text as a number. So our text says 725,278,723. So let's start off by filling out the millions period of our place value chart. That means we need to look at the first part of the text, which says 725 million. So the 700 of 725 million says we have 700 millions. So that means we need a 7 in the 100 millions place. Now the 20 of 25 million says we have two tens because 2 times 10 is 20. So that means we have a 2 in the 10 millions place. Finally, we have 5 million. That means we have five ones in the millions place. So we need a five in the one millions place. Now let's do the thousands period. So that means we need to look at the 278,000 part of the text. So let's start with 200. Well, 200 says that we have 200 thousands. So that means we need a two in the hundred thousands place. The 70 of 78,000 says we have seven tens in the 10 thousands place because seven times 10 is 70. So that means we need a seven in the 10 thousands place. And finally, we have 8,000. So that says we have eight one thousands, which means we need an eight in the one thousands place. Now let's finish the problem by doing the ones period. So that means we need to look at the last part of the text. So the 700 of 723 says we have seven hundreds, which means we need to put a seven in the hundreds place. The 20 of 23 says we have two tens because two times 10 is 20. So that means we need to put a two in the tens place. And finally, the three says we have three ones, which means we need to put a three in the ones place. So our number is 
let's practice place value above the thousands place. Here I have a place value chart that separates the periods, or the ones, thousands and millions, from the place values, or the ones, tens and hundreds. So for example, this left box is the hundred millions place, and this middle box is the ten thousands place. So our number is 147 million, 220,685. And we want to know what number is in the millions place. So if we look at our place value chart, we can see that the 7 is in the 1 millions place. So the 7 is in the millions place. Now, if for some reason you don't have a place value chart or you can't remember the order of the place values, there are two things you can do. The first thing is to count commas. So commas tell you when you've changed from one period to another period. So when you've changed from the ones period to the thousands period, you need a comma. And when you've changed from the thousands period to the millions period, you need a comma. Also notice that for every three numbers, we need to write down a comma. So every period has three digits in it. And when you've written down three digits, you need to write down a comma next. So the second comma is always separating the thousands and the millions period. And the millions place value will always be the place value to the left of the second comma. Another thing you can do is remember that the millions place is always seven digits starting from the ones place. So if you start at the ones and you count up to seven, you should get to the millions place. So let's count. We have one, two, three. We've gotten three numbers, so we need a comma. 4, 5, 6, we've got another three numbers, so we need a comma, 7, and we've reached the millions place. So either way, we figured out the 7 is in the millions place. to use place value to help us figure out the value of the underlying digit in 762,660,329. So, if we look at our place value chart, we can see that the underlying digit is the 6 in the hundred thousands place. So that means the value of the underlying digit, or the 6, is 6 times 100,000 because the 6 is in the 100,000th place. So 6 times 100,000 is 600,000. So that means the value of the underlying digit is 600,000.
need to use place value to help us figure out a pattern so we can fill in the blank. So the first place value chart will be for 159 million, 646,846. The second place value chart will be for 159 million, 626,846. The third one will be for our first blank. The fourth one for 159 million. 646,846 and the fifth one will be for our second blank. Now if we just look at our place value charts we can see that the numbers in the ones period and the millions period are the same for every number. So that means we can fill in a 1, 5, and 9 for the hundreds, tens, and ones place of the millions period and an 8 4 and 6 for the hundreds, tens, and ones place of the ones period. So now let's look at the thousands period. We can see that the numbers in the hundreds place and the ones place are the same for every number. So that means we can fill in a 6 for the hundreds and ones place of the thousands period for our missing numbers. Now let's look at the ten thousands place. Well, we can see that the numbers in the 10,000th place are increasing by 1 for every new number. So we have 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 plus 1, which is 3, so 3 should go in our first blank, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So our missing numbers are 159,639,000. 846, sorry I wrote over one of the numbers, and 159,656,846. And it looks like our pattern is that every number is increasing by 10,000. Good job!
<laughs> Amazing! Monsterific! Way to go! I like it! Keep it up! You're awesome! Help! You help the whale! He's very happy! This level is part of Adapted Mind Super Skills. This is his favorite coffee shop. Let's blend in and keep a lookout. Oh, there he is! Excuse me, Captain. I have the essay you requested. Wow! That is quite an essay! How did you manage to focus that long? We taught ourselves a focus tool. Do you remember what our last focus tool was? Dancing fractions. Ditching distractions. Great memory! We put away distracting things like games and devices. Fabulous! I'll try it while I'm reading this. And then can I be your apprentice? You'll be one step closer. Oh boy, get a run. Busy day of speeches and handshaking ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I'm just gonna keep the wagon, okay? Alright, thank you! Monster! 
So, uh, are you gonna be a superhero's apprentice? Like you said? Um... All right, class. Time for your math workbooks. Do you think the captain is reading my essay right now? Shh! What if I use too many exclamation points? Is everything all right? I can't focus. I know just the tool for that. The brain's job is to think, but sometimes our own thoughts can be distracting. What kind of thoughts distract you when you're trying to focus on your schoolwork? Doubts about my abilities. Worries about future tests. Silly thoughts about random things. Silly thoughts about random things. Silly thoughts about random things. Me too! Our brains are wonderful tools. But sometimes, all kinds of thoughts pop up and make it hard to focus. I get really frustrated with myself for getting distracted. But that makes me even more distracted. Focus tool number two, the gentle breeze, can help. Ready? We're going to take 10 deep, slow breaths. Focus on feeling the breaths go in and out. If a thought pops into your head and distracts you, imagine a gentle breeze blows by, turning your thoughts and feelings into dust and carrying them far, far away. Then return your focus to your breathing. Now we'll try it together. So close your eyes and let's begin. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let one last breath of breeze Carry away any stray thoughts and slowly open your eyes. So, what did you all notice? Talk or think about what kinds of feelings or thoughts you experienced during the exercise. It's okay to feel bored, silly, or anything really. The important thing is to try to focus on your breathing during this simple meditation. Scientists studying the brain have learned that doing meditation exercises often can help you improve your focus. I still have a burning desire to know what the captain thinks of my essay. <sighs> But I do feel a lot more focused now. Try the gentle breeze next time you're doing homework and let us know how it goes. Fish until you find the sunken scuba suit.